Apple wallpapers. Classic, sophisticated, clean. And these probably cost Apple more than my net worth. But can a rookie like me take on the largest company in the world and replicate their godlike wallpaper collection at zero cost? Let us find out. We have the absolute classic, the default wallpaper of macOS Big Sur. Let's drag that in. Now there are two wallpapers that I really want to replicate. It's this one from macOS Big Sur and this one from macOS Ventura, the dark mode of course, because it's a lot better. Now looking at these from afar, they don't seem that complicated, they're just a few lines and some colors. However, since I want them to be picture perfect replicas, I realized that this isn't going to be easy. These wallpapers have lines that are blurry and then they have a bunch of gradients, colors that intertwine with each other. So I knew that this part is going to be the hardest. There's also these rims on the macOS Ventura wallpaper that I have no idea how to recreate. And so that's the reason why I start with the other wallpaper. So this first one has waves that I'm going to replicate first and then these waves has these sort of blurry edges which I'm gonna try to do next and of course the hardest part is going to be colors. As you can see my pen tool skills are very rusty. Now there seems to be another line like right here but it sort of blurs out so I'm gonna try to get it as best as I can. I think it goes like this and then here perhaps like this maybe. So this is what we have right now and now we're gonna try to copy the colors but there are many colors here so I, I see three for this wave so one two three maybe four colors for this wave then there's one two and three colors for this wave there's two for that there's one for that one for that maybe two for that or this is just opacity I think and one gradient for the whole top. So let's start from the top here so this color is is one side and then this color is here. And after this gradient we now have the top which looks very darn similar. Beautiful. Next is this wave right here. Now it looks like this. Of course it's not gonna look like this in the end. This I believe is also a solid color which is this way for us. Now getting these lines right was fairly easy, so naturally I underestimated how hard the colors would be. I think this one's a gradient, which we can check by using the color picture tool. Yes, the color is very different. Now I'm copying colors from the original wallpapers, and if you think that's cheating, you can kindly just scroll down. By the way, you can scroll down even if you're in full screen, which I didn't know before, and hit this weird upwards pointing thumb here, and then scroll back to continue watching. Just so I know that you think I'm cheating. There's no other reason, of course. <clears throat> and now the gradient should show through. This is not what I was looking for. So this is the color here. Well, well, well. Yes, that looks pretty similar. Okay. Now for this wave, there are three colors. Then there's the middle one, which is like this, perhaps? Or is it sideways? Maybe it is sideways. So there's three colors. Okay. Not at all similar. This, perhaps? And the final wave consists of three colors, is this blue here, and the fourth color is this dark blue. Uh, so let's see what it gives us without editing. Right, let's go with a 100% scale, and then we're gonna move it around, which means that the scale should be a lot less. Now this continued for another half an hour until I was able to get the colors and the blurriness of the lines to at least somewhat resemble the original one. Or to be better than the original one. Depends on how you look at it. You can see me flicking through my version and Apple's version. Mine. Original. Mine. Original. Mine. Original. Mine. Original. Next up we have one of my personal favorites, the macOS Ventura dark mode wallpaper. Just look at it, it looks beautiful. I will probably screw this one up because there's so much going on here. Again, it's pretty much the same thing, it's lines and then blurry lines and then colors. Also there are these brims which I have no idea how to replicate. So I'm gonna have to finesse something to get this sort of lightning at the edge. And then this gradient seems a little complicated because there's light coming from this side and then from this side as well, which is also something that I have no idea how to replicate. And so I'm just gonna try to draw all of these shapes right now with the pen tool. First one's right here, this black leaf. Maybe they're not leaves, they're probably not leaves at all. Okay, solid color. 
Let's just, uh, one eighth of the wallpaper is already finished. Next is this guy here. Should I just make it a gradient from the start? I should probably make it a gradient from the start. We're gonna have to change these later, of course. And it looks like this, which is completely not what I was going for. So we're just gonna reverse this. And I'm not sure how to go about it because it sort of overlaps over itself. So I'm just gonna start from the other end and move my way up here and then probably down here, which is gonna go from this color to this color and then I'm gonna paint in the edges later, I think. Okay, let's see how it looks. Completely the opposite, uh, reverse. Okay, that looks nothing like it because maybe there's another gradient here, like a radial gradient perhaps with this color. Like in the middle, there's one gradient and then there's another one on top of it, which we're gonna have to worry about later. Now these edges are not really perfectly aligned. So we're just gonna align them perfectly. This is the current progress of this wallpaper. Now, I think we're gonna want this disc here. So like right here, this is where it starts. So this is gonna be behind there. So which means we can do this and then we're gonna have to come back into here and go like this, I think. Now this one's gonna be weird. It's gonna be this color at the bottom. I'm gonna add this line, this weird thing later. So it should be above the, below these two. Okay, good. Currently, this is what we're working with. I mean, it kind of does resemble the wallpaper. It's just like less professional and less cool and just less of everything. Let's maximize the opacity and not what I envisioned. That's, I mean, that should be brighter, right? The top should be a lot brighter. Why is it this color? Let's start with the background, which is sort of this black color at the top. So I think like this. Okay, let's just paint it all black. This sort of blue color from the sides. Right here, there's some blues. Original, mine. Original, mine. And there's pretty much no difference. I wonder how the hell am I gonna get these edges to look this good? Like, look at this edge. It has like a little rim around it. And I have no idea how to make this rim. Probably gonna have to paint it in manually. Let's start with this leaf over here. Add a new layer, clip it. And then just gonna sample this color here. And then also paint it on the gradient. This is also something that it has, this sort of color here. Okay, cool. And then we're just gonna maybe lower the opacity a little bit. And then we're gonna apply some Gaussian blur. And so this is where the colors began. I spent the rest of the time fiddling with them and also making the edges of these leaves look better. We have all the leaves except the middle one, which is gonna be arguably the hardest leaf and it looks the worst with this weird thing in the middle. I'm just gonna paint it over. So this is the color we're gonna paint like this. I'm gonna paint on this layer because why not? The hardness is something like 60 and I'm just gonna paint here and hopefully it's gonna look okay. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Now we just need to not screw everything up. Then it has these yellow edges here and then this or there's two orange blobs, one here and one there. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Gosh and blur everything I see. This yellow at the top doesn't really look the same. Let's repaint some of this thing here and let's remove some of this orange. Is it the same orange? Maybe it's not the same orange. Maybe it's this orange. Yes, it's that orange. So how much do we remove? It's a lot brighter down here. So I'm just gonna add a new layer and paint the blackness. But mine looks, this looks nice and mine looks dirty. What am I missing here? It has this red and then the yellow sort of seeps into this orange, which uh, is not great for us. Okay, that was completely wrong. It does have to look like some sort of a two leaves right here. I can see like here or what I can do by choosing this color, painting here and then choosing this color, painting this circle. Once I disable it, choosing this color, painting this circle and now I'm gonna work backwards and delete everything except these two lines. So let's m put a mask there and you can see that those circles have now appeared a little bit. What we need are these rims and what we need is this blur. So I think let's start with the rims. How the hell do we make these brims here? Maybe, just maybe, just perhaps we can do this with blending options. 
like so. Doesn't look that bad, but it's just not that good either. This is the color we want. That's a brim, baby. We just need to make it less opaque. I'm copying it. Boop and it doesn't have the brim there either. This one has a brim and these two have brims and they're exactly the same as this brim. Like this, then like this. These brims are not exactly how it is here, they just kind of fade away or they're, they're gradients. Which one is this? And I can just lower the opacity. I mean, maybe not on this one. This one didn't really become better. This one just became invisible. I like the rims like this. I, I think they're pretty nice. So now the mission becomes to blur edges of a few of these leaves. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, and let's see how much it blurred it. I mean, I think we're gonna need a little more blur here. Okay, this amount of blur seems okay. And then I'm gonna invert this and then copy it over everywhere. Now we just need to figure out how much and where to apply it. So let's start with this one and just sort of do like this, I think. And this gentleman is here. So we're, again, we're gonna take a white brush and just sort of do that. Blur amount is too much, so maybe like this. I see an issue here where it has a little bit of orange at the top. So we're just gonna introduce that orange, maybe this orange. Tippity top like this. And then let's see what happens here. Boom, perfect. Does it look better now? Yes, it does. Starting about here and it sort of blurs out like this. Now, I think it's too much again and it has to be like this. Or maybe, okay, maybe it's a gradual blur. So I'm gonna put 10% and bring it back with the black color, not blur too much. And over here, let's just increase it a little bit more like that. Not really. I mean, the colors are completely wrong. So this is like this dark sort of orange, which this doesn't have at all. It became a little more, okay, the blurring part, I don't really like the blurred part. Like this looks pretty bad right here. I mean, original, of course, looks a lot better if you compare, but I think I got it 70% there. I don't think this blur here is really necessary. I don't really like this blur. This blur, this blur, this blur, and this blur. So this is how it looks like without the blur. And I kind of like it more. This one just needs a bevel. I think this looks better. It just doesn't have any blur. I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna say that I made a better wallpaper than Apple. I may just use this one as my desktop background to troll people because it's not the same as Apple's. Okay, so original, mine. Original, mine, and then mine without the blurred edges. I think it looks a lot better without the blurred edges for some reason. I like this one. I like this one the best out of all three, even more than the original. I like it not having blurred edges. Also, if you like this wallpaper that I have applied right now, I'll leave a link to it in the description. See you later!